in my lab, we study the development of the cochlea. So we are trying to understand where the cochlea itself comes from and where the sensory cells of the cochlea appear in the right place and at the right time, what regulates that. And I believe that if one is to understand regeneration, one first has to understand where the cells come from in the first place. And so one of the main focuses of my lab is development and embryology. But what we hope to do is to leverage the discoveries we make there to understanding why in mammals regeneration doesn't occur. I believe if you want to understand regeneration, you have to understand development first. So at the moment, we don't know why mammals cannot regenerate their sensory hair cells. We know that birds can, so we don't have targets for drugs. We don't have candidate genes that may be involved. We have to dis discover these. What I believe is that once we have started to solve the biological problem, then the technological problems, how to develop drugs, how to deliver them to the ear, surgical approaches and so on, that will take far less time than we originally anticipated. I'm very optimistic that the hearing restoration project is going to move hair cell regeneration forward in a way that for the last 20 years it hasn't done. Um, I think bringing people with complementary skills and complementary backgrounds together is really a first in our field and so I'm very excited to be part of that project.